Okay, showing my new force feedback gimbal. It's built on the VP Force uh, by Valmis. Um, it's a new gimbal that I've designed, uh, borrowed some, some ideas off the internet, and it's all metal uh, except for two pieces this guy right here. And the other side, those are still 3D printed. And then, of course, the pulleys are 3D printed. Um, these two is going to be replaced for aluminum. And I actually figured out that was a good thing I had in 3D printed, but because I need to redo them a little bit to get some little bit more travel. But it works great. Um, right now, I have these settings. Uh, it's got a damper and a friction. I fly helicopters, so this is where it's going to be. It's got uh, some pull to it and it stays right where it's supposed to be and um, there's a nice feel and friction to it I'm gonna have an extension on it so it's gonna be uh, needing uh, less power as it is right now and then uh, if I switch over to springs instead I have that configured I'll put some spring in and then uh, this guy and I'll do sand config, boom, comes right back up again, and now the spring works. And it's buttery smooth, and there's just a just hint of a slow glitch in uh, the bearings, but it's almost not noticeable. And it works great. This is all going to be um, mounted in my sim rig. And, um, it's 3D printed pulleys, 15 to 90, so it's a 6 to 1 ratio, which means it's got a lot of power to maintain it. This is going to be fun. Thank you, Valmis, for a great DIY kit. And uh, I'm going to put some videos up when i got it all set up with grips and uh, the electronics are hooked up. Right now, this is the setup. Uh, I way overdid it uh, with the power supply, but hey, um, better have one too many or too big than... Uh, not having enough power. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Bye.